Hello everyone. We are going to start the first chapter of biology class 10 that is life processes. This chapter contains many topics. For today, we will take a small topic to discuss that is meaning of life processes and movement. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to list down the various life processes and describe them in brief. Explain the meaning of living organisms and life processes. You should be also able to differentiate between different types of movement. To start with, look at the surroundings. What do we see? We see many things. Some of them are living and some are non-living. How do we tell the differences between what is alive and what is not alive? If we see a man walking or running or a bird flying, we consider them as a living thing. But what about the plants? They do not move from one place to another place. But they do have a life. They are living things. They grow. They need food. Even they show the movements in different parts of its body. All the living beings are self-regulated entities. They carry out various processes essential for the maintenance of life. These living beings are called organisms and their activities are known as life processes. That means all the activities that helps in maintaining the different body functions of the living organisms are called life processes. Does these processes continue even we are in deep sleep or sitting idly? Yes, they do. To maintain such processes and to prevent damage and breakdown, energy is required. To get energy, we take food. Plants prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. And animals get their food from the plants and other living organisms. This process of obtaining and utilizing the food for getting energy is known as nutrition. Like nutrition, there are many other processes that helps in maintaining life. For example, movement. What is movement? The change in the position of whole organism or its parts is called movement. Next is respiration. The oxidation of the food for energy generation is called respiration. Sensitivity. Being aware of surrounding is known as sensitivity. Growth. It means the increase in length and size. Reproduction. It is the ability to produce the young ones of their own kind. Excretion. It is the process of removal of metabolic wastes. Now, let us discuss about the movements. As it has been defined earlier, it is the change in the position of whole organism or its parts. The movements like walking, running, flying, shaking of leaves are visible to our eyes. This is known as visible movements. Entry of nutrients or oxygen into the cells or Removal of metabolic wastes from our body. Movements of water molecules from cell to cell cannot be seen with our naked eyes. These kind of movements are known as invisible movements. Now, can you give the examples of which? Movement is one of the important processes. The necessity of molecular movement. It is important because it supplies the nutrients for the energy to the various body parts. It helps in the removal of catabolic waste products. It also helps in repairing and maintaining the cell organelles, cells and the tissues. Now, 
इज टाइम टू डू समथिंग एंसर द क्वेश्चन गिवन विथ दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ टूडेज लेसन